So time. It's that one thing that when it's gone, it's gone. Can't get it back. And for each of us, time means a little something different, how we like spending our time. For my wife and I, we got a brand new little nine month old and as a new father, every extra second of time, that's where I like spending it. And money, certainly the other scarce resource. Where we spend it, we need it to stretch as far as possible, both in our personal lives and in business. And what I found is most successful individuals and entrepreneurs have really mastered the concept of leverage. They've learned how to leverage time and money to squeeze as much as possible out of both. Because ultimately, leverage equals growth and leverage equals freedom. And to relate it to the business journey that some of us are at different stages of this, I'd like to talk about it in three points. Point A, startup. We all know what that's like and some are experiencing it right now. It's the ups and downs, managing cash flow, managing product market fit. Then we get to point B. Point B, things start getting a little bit more predictable. But then you hit the growth ceiling. It's when there's another layer of operations, infrastructure, staff, and people that are required. And people either hit that ceiling and deflect, just use your imaginations. <laughs> it's part of the exercise to involve you in the experience. Or imagine point C where you break through that growth ceiling, where you get scale, you get profitability, one more piece. But when you get to that point right there, it's where leverage is most critical in a business. Leveraging time, leveraging money, and learning how to automate and delegate. It's when time and money are at some of their scarcest points. That's critical for the entire life cycle of the business, but that's probably one of the most significant. I'd like to share my personal journey on kind of finding leverage and I like to call it the game-changing Mexican dinner that I had. Several years ago, a buddy and I, and I went out to dinner and, and uh, he'd show me this website he'd gotten put together. It cost him $250. I just gotten a website done and it cost me several thousand dollars. He told me about this platform that he had found and I was just blown away. I went home that night and for the next five hours, I didn't leave the computer. It was like I'd stepped into Narnia from the line of the witch in the wardrobe. I couldn't believe what could be done. And it wasn't just websites, it's social media management, content writing, video development, SEO, telemarketing, whole range of things. And even crafty stuff I didn't even know existed. Like you could have someone log in and manage the LinkedIn accounts of my sales reps. And data mining, the amount of data that's on the web you could get thousands of leads within a couple of days for a couple hundred dollars. It's really game changing. And I just hired a marketing director in my business and he had this long list of stuff he wanted to do. And we crossed a lot of it off because of time and money. But this opened up an opportunity to get things done that I never even knew it, it existed. To give you a, a, a simple personal example of how we were able to leverage this outsourced group of talent, I had an individual recently that wanted to get into the high-end children's play kitchens. Wanted to do furniture quality high-end kitchens, not the plastic ones you typically find. So we were able to get an outsourcer and within two days, about $14 later, we got a list of 200 records of every single play kitchen that existed in the market. Got a list of the link of where it went to, the price point, the shipping cost, and even a picture of the product. Within two days and less than $20, we got instant market intelligence on a product and saved wasting a ton of time and dollars in an area that could have been wasted. So it just shows an example of the power of leveraging these kind of resources and data management that a lot of people didn't even know existed, and I had no idea existed. Fast forward, and in my world, in my business world, this is kind of what our network looks like at this point. We now have 35 to 40 outsourcers that we use all over the world to get incredible high quality work done 
Everything from a stay-at-home mom in Baltimore that does amazing content writing, to a telemarketing firm out of the Philippines, to a group out of Dubai that does CRM management, to a social media firm right down the, firm, down the road in Atlanta that we work with who does a great job. Completely redefined how we get work done in our company and our business by leveraging time and money. In a study that was just done, 2015 alone, there was a trillion dollars spent on freelancers and outsourcers. One out of three employees in the United States right now is a freelance employee. And it's expected by 2020 to be close to 50 to 60%. So why is it growing so fast? Communication technology has changed dramatically. We all know very well. Everything from Skype to Slack. Corporate, it's no longer stable. It's no longer the stable environment that it used to be. Rapid skill building. To Kit's point, the number of places online that people can learn and build skills overnight and offer real value. The platforms have changed dramatically. The platforms that are available now to be able to identify workers that you can use in your business, there's checks and balances. There's escrow systems to make sure that money doesn't get delivered until the work gets done. These folks operate based on their reviews. If they don't perform, they don't get paid and they don't deliver. So there's a checks and balances system that delivers a great experience for both parties. And a demand. Demand has rapidly increased for this. Because of the quality of work you can get done and the price point, it's grown dramatically. And the big number that is on the screen here. <laughs> 10 million. That's the number of freelancers and outsourcers that are just on one platform, Upwork, which is one of the big platforms that a lot of people use. And some people in the audience have heard me speak on this before and I've had them come up to me afterwards and they have that same Narnia experience. Like, oh my gosh, I had no idea the world of things that could get done. The second question is what is the advantage? Right? What is the advantage of leveraging this market? And I'm certainly not suggesting that you displace current employees, but it's augmenting and supporting them, just like I did with my marketing director. The advantage, highly skilled individuals. You have highly skilled, competent individuals in certain narrow skill sets in your industry. You'd be amazed. Like, I'm in the chromatography space. How could I possibly find someone that could write on that? I did. PhD in Pakistan. Did amazing work. So you can get very highly skilled individuals. Second <coughs> is um, they're fast, very, very quick. Again, they don't get paid <laughs> unless they perform and do a great job. So rapid, quick turnaround, 50, 24 to 48 hours in most times. And flexible, flexible schedules. Whenever you need to get things done, whether it's web development or graphic design, you need stuff done rapidly done over the weekend. Never a problem. Flexibility. But one of the most valuable points for all of us as business owners that we can certainly relate to is variable cost. Because fixed expense is one of our biggest challenges. And with these solutions, you can turn it on and you can turn it off. You need to buy a bank of 20 hours of telemarketing for get 500 calls for $200, turn it on. And you can turn it off. You're still providing great jobs and great incomes for individuals and it's allowing you to manage that growth path that kind of goes hand in hand with your revenue stream. So I'll circle back to kind of my original point, which is most successful individuals get the idea, they master leverage. Leverage time and leverage money because that's what translates into growth and ultimately freedom. So hopefully today I've uh, given you some insights on ways you can improve your leverage and ultimately give you back that time to spend on those things that you find most precious. That's it. <laughs>